Well, here we are in COVID-19 lockdown week two, and uh, I'm gonna talk about isolation. Um, not isolate, not social distancing, not the isolation I'm having to go through at the moment. We've got an office empty. <laughs> Everyone's at home with their computers. Uh, and uh, I'm, st I'm still stuck at the office, but um, that's why I'm here sort of starting to put some of these videos together. But um, the principle of isolation is something that's been discussed a lot in uh, um, recent, in the last couple of years. Funnily enough, it's t uh, it was the 28th of March, 2018. There was a case called the Braintree case. And, and it was Braintree District Council against the Secretary of State for Communities and Local Government, Lord Justice Lindblom, his decision on this case has helped frame a lot of Paragraph 79 cases since uh, March 2018. And um, it's given more context to the principle of the term isolation. So prior to the Braintree case, um, it, the way isolation was dealt with, with paragraph 79 was you, you had settlements and they, if they had a defined settlement boundary and if you were inside that settlement boundary then the countryside policy paragraph 79 wouldn't apply. But if you were outside of that um, defined boundary then you were regarded as being in the countryside and because there was no distinct policy for being close to a settlement but not isolated, um, then uh, it was kind of, Power 79 kind of wrapped up those, those cases as well. So if you were close to a settlement, um, you were still effectively regarded as being isolated. Um, and the Braintree case kind of um, changed that. It sort of said, well, no, no, it, well, I'll actually read out what, um, uh, Lord Justice Lindblom wrote in in that decision. Um, it says it said at, at paragraph thirty one of that decision. It said, in my view, and in particular context in paragraph fifty five of the MPPF, as it was then, it was before the update to paragraph seventy nine. The word isolated in the phrase isolated homes in the countryside simply connotes a dwelling that is physically separate or remote from a settlement. Whether a proposed dwelling is or is not isolated in this sense will be a matter of fact and planning judgment for the decision maker uh, in the particular circumstances of the case in hand. So um, it goes on, it explains more about what um, isolated and settlement mean but um, from from that point on one of the first things we look at when we're um, assessing sites is to establish whether or not a site is considered to be isolated or not and since uh, since since this brain tree case there have been a few um, kind of landmark decisions if you like a few cases have started to come through that have um, if you like exercised this um, this new um, bit of context, this bit of landscape change, evolution, if you like. Um, uh, what I'll do on the next video, which will appear in a link down there, uh, is I'll talk through um, a case that we had, which um, was um, a, a scheme that was actually submitted under paragraph 55. So before the Braintree context had happened, but then by the time it had gone through the local authority, it ended up at appeal. Um, we were dealing with a post brain tree, um, if you like, policy landscape, and um, so the so this proposal was was kind of viewed against the post brain tree context. Um, so I'll talk through that on a, on another video. But um, if you want to subscribe to our channel, click over there. If you want to look at the next video about uh, about that case, click there. Uh, thank you for uh, sticking with us and um, I'm gradually going to work my way through lots of little topics associated with paragraph 79 up there somewhere. <laughs> Thanks ever so much. Cheers. Take care.